In this tutorial we'll solve your bootstrap 5 accordion not working. Okay, so if you have an accordion and it's not working, the most likely reason is actually that you haven't included the right version of bootstrap. So if you go to the homepage getbootstrap.com, they will show you the latest version and um, here we're including it via CDN. So what you can do, and by the way, when you Google for bootstrap, make sure you get the right version because actually the first link links to an older version, version 4, we're in version 5 now. So uh, once you get here, you only need to include these two. And so for the CSS, you can just copy this. This is the CSS here, and this is the JavaScript. This is actually the complete JavaScript bundle that you need. It already includes Popper. So don't include Popper with a separate script. It's already included here. So I just copied this and I paste it here. Now, when I'm, when I'm pasting it here in the head, I always use the defer attribute because then it will not block uh, parsing the rest of the page, right? So it's really important that you have mastered the underlying fundamentals when you work with Bootstrap. Those are both CSS and also JavaScript. So definitely check out my courses on them if you want to take them to a professional level. The links are in the description. So if you have the both of these um, CDN links, all right, so if, the, if it's still not working, then another uh, problem that you may have is that you're using the wrong data attributes. So in version 5, these data attributes like data toggle, they have BS in them. And that also goes for data target here, right? So it's data BS target now in version 5. So make sure that all of your data attributes, wherever you're using them here, for example, as well, data parent, it needs to have that BS infix. So make sure you uh, you have done that correctly. All right, so then if it's still not working, what could also be the problem is that your, your IDs are not matching. So for example, here my accordion has an ID of accordion example. And then here, for example, for data be as parent, it's uh, referring that one. It's referencing that one, right? So make sure that the IDs, whenever you use an ID or whenever you reference it, make sure they match up. Right, so you need to use the hashtag symbol here and let's see if it, if it's used anywhere else yeah so here data bs target it's using collapse one right hashtag collapse one so that's for this one this is id collapse one right so make sure that all of those ideas ids match up as well all right now if it's still not working maybe you're using the accordion component as part of like a drop down menu or something like that um and that actually won't work so if if the accordion is like a child element of a collapse element, right, or an element with a class of collapse, um, it's not going to work. So in that case, right, because the collapse class in Bootstrap is what we use to, to display um, elements, right? So actually in the accordion, we're also using collapse, uh, but maybe you're using the whole accordion as part of some other collapse element. In that case, um, it's probably not going to work, but you can create your own height and uh, show method with JavaScript, right? So in that case, you have to remove the collapse class and you have to do it, you have to code it manually in JavaScript yourself. All right, now if it's still not working, what you can also simply do is right click inspect and check if there are any errors in your console. If you see any errors, try to fix them, of course. And the last option that you really have is to simply go to the docs and just start from scratch, copy their example, right? So let's see components, accordion. You can just copy one of their examples and modify it to get exactly what you want, right? So here we already have all the correct syntax, the whole HTML is correct, the data attributes, everything is working already. So just start from scratch with one of their examples. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.